Hello Virgo and welcome to the channel. I am Marvin. This is Readings by Marvelous Madame Tarot. Hello, hello, and hello. <clears throat> this is going to be your weekly energy read. This is going to be a love reading for you. And I apologize that in the previous videos, I did not make myself clear. This is going to be a Venus and Leo inspired reading. Um, and one random week for the next four months that this transit is occurring, I will replace replace the weekly energy read general and make it love because let's face it from now until basically the fall we have venus and leo which is the big ticket item of the summer other things are going on as well but i'm going to choose to give this a little bit of uh you know space and time on the channel i realized that in previous videos i said in addition to if time permits maybe but We'll go back to general energy next week and next week's reading. And we're only going to be focusing on the love energy this week. So I will choose the weeks. They will be random. Sometimes it'll be the end. Sometimes it'll be the top. It really just it depends. All right. From now until October the 8th, the last video being sometime in September. All right. So this is your Oracle read. Everything you need is below in the description box for you and your collective. We are going to be doing a reverse pick a card and I will set that up for you right now. I've already taken the liberty of, <clears throat> of getting your energy oracle card for your love. And before I turn this around, I just want to say if you are a Virgo sun and a Virgo rising, Venus and Leo is going to be affecting you in your 12th house. I already have a commentary up for that on the channel. Um, it is going to be in three places, actually, on this channel, time stamped on the website, www.marvelousmadam.com, as well as on the Marvelous Enlightenment channel for your listening pleasure. I did not do a pool. It's only a podcast audio version. Let's get started. You have freedom. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. I want to discuss this because there's been a lot of buzzing around your energy, Virgo, with you trying to leave somebody or steer clear of someone or break up with someone. So first and foremost, if that is the energy that's around you, um, I apologize that you're going through that. All right. But freedom is what's in your energy. All right. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Now, I am going to do a pick a card. Um, I'm calling it a reverse pick a card because I am not breaking it down into individual videos. I'm going to show everything right here. But if you guys want me to experiment with a pick a card, I definitely can do that. The only difference is, is I will put each pile right here, turn them over, have you because, you know, you're going to need to see what they are. Um, and then we'll go from there. Um, I could do that at some point. But this is what we're going to do in honor of this transit for this week. This is going to carry you through the, um, the dates of June 11th through, the Ju through June 18th. Remember, Virgo, that the times, um, the times are for me and the energy is for you. The message is for you. This is for Virgo. Okay, Virgo, thank you. Heart to heart conversations. Make the effort. And forgiving and learning. Well, this is definitely a lot of 12th house stuff, okay? There is definitely an energy of needing to speak. Needing to speak. Heart to heart conversations in power one. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. All right. This feels like it could be one individual, but let's see. And pal two, we do have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're being guided to take. So there is a lack of effort over in, in this particular pal. Keep in mind, guys, you can read this as one reading or you can resonate with one card. Um, one big message, one small message, you take it as it resonates, okay? And pal three, we do have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Um, and so it feels like over here, there is obviously something that needs to be discussed. 
and the the forward motion that you and this individual over here and this pal may be experiencing is based upon mis uh, miscommunication and misunderstanding. Over here, there is a lack of effort. The misunderstandings and miscommunication that could be that is occurring between you two is because one person feels like the other one isn't putting enough effort in and therefore the relationship is lacking as a result. In this particular energy, we are looking at forgiving and learning. So right now you are unable to experience more love in your present moments because there is a need or there is a inability to let the past go. Um, it could read all as one big message. Let's see. All right. So we are going to start now with clarifying heart to heart conversations. Heart to heart conversations. Let's go. Rewrite your love story. There is an energy over here after a breakdown and miscommunication of wanting to rewrite the love story. This individual, you to them or them to you, um, may want to discuss about uh, reconciling the love and starting over. We also have retreat. This, this person and you could have also had a um, energy or been in an energy of walking away from one another. And um, there was time to walk away and go and find yourself. And now that this separation has occurred in this pile, now they want to come back and rewrite the story. And then we have given the gift. This has been a very popular card and clarifying energy. They're going to come and give a gift as a peace offering. It could be a trip. Maybe they booked you guys some type of trip um, or maybe they went on a trip to clear their mind. But you're going to get a gift as over in this particular pile as a um, let me just put these up here as a. Um, I would say. What's the word? I don't want to say a consolation prize, but as a, as a token to let you know that they're serious, put it like that. OK. All right. That's not bad. That's pretty sweet. Let's move on to make the effort. All right. So there is an energy here. This could be this is definitely a current relationship. This one is shaping up to be. Not necessarily one that is old, maybe new, but let's keep going. There is an energy of a lack of effort and a lack of knowing the person. But yep, this is new. Love struck with Cupid's arrow at the same time. So there is a lacking over in this particular. Yes. Illusions. What's the fantasy and what's reality? So this is an energy of just getting to know somebody. And you come in with these illusions. You really don't know the person because you don't know the person yet. You're still getting to know the person. But there is an effort that needs to be made. And although you guys, oh, this person may be stuck on you or you may be stuck on them, there still is a energy of making the effort to get this particular relationship out of illusion. All right. And forgiving and learning. This is definitely it could coincide here, but we have happy family. So releasing and healing, um, releasing the past so you can move forward now. Aha, uh -huh. time with friends. OK, I don't like this. So it looks like, yep, and the gate is closed. It looks like in this pile there was a breakdown. In the past, there was time with friends and there this could have been third party, um, a third party situation, which in turn completely disrupted the happy family. And as a result, caused the gate to be closed. And that is what needs to be forgiven. OK. Um, and with all of these, let's take a look at these. So that is what needs to be forgiven down here. There was an energy of someone stepping out on this family and definitely um, screwing the family dynamic up. Do you see that? Let me check the frame. You can see everything. Fantastic. We are going to go in right now before we close this out. 
with a with the communication cards, okay? This is as if you have not spoken to this individual or if you have spoken to this individual and this is what they didn't say. Either way, give me a card for pal one. Maybe we're better off separated. Well, there's definitely one of you guys who feels like you guys need to get back together and rewrite your love story. And, and there could be um, one of you guys that feel like you're better off separated, but there, that's a maybe. Based on how this conversation goes, is going to determine how this relationship goes. Okay, but remember, you have the freedom. Nothing is stopping you in your decisions. The path is clear if you want it to be. Pile number two. Why do I keep messing things up? So this person is new to you. Very illusionary, not necessarily making the effort. So this is this is what they're feeling. Why do I keep messing things up? And then finally, forgiving and learning. Yes, I do want to be with you. So this individual down here with the forgiving and the learning and the happy family definitely is realizing that they screwed something up and they are definitely in an energy of wanting to be with you and make this family dynamic work. All right, let's peel back these layers. So I feel like at the end of the day, no matter what decision you make, as I've told all other, all the other Zodiac signs, you have the power to walk away and do whatever you want. But your message specifically is you have the freedom. Nothing is stopping you in forgiving and learning, make, let, allowing a person to make the effort or having a conversation to get this relationship back together. Um, it's really up to you. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. And Virgo, that concludes your love energy reading. Like, share, and subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. Everything you need is below in the description box and I will see you next week in your reading. Bye guys.